All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Surrey Satellite Technologies Limited mod, which is being made by form user SSTL Pete. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an actual real world satellite made by Surrey Satellite Technologies Limited, a real space company that has put a fair few of their satellites into space. Space, which is pretty cool. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what this adds, which isn't going to take us too long because at this moment, the mod has only two parts. I figured, you know, after those recent mods we looked at with crap loads of parts, it'd be nice to look at something small. So let's grab the Mark 1 command pod for size comparison's sake, uh, zoom in a bit, and then head down to our janitor's closet mod filter, just leaving on SSTL. And what we're actually going to go look at first is the coupling, because this does have the SSTL300 S1 decoupler assembly, which is, well, the payload adapter for this particular satellite. And of course, it is a uh, functioning uh, decoupler in the game, so you can use it for really whatever you want, but it has a unique design to it. As you can see, it kind of sits slightly off center and is angled which is quite interesting not something we tend to see with decouplers and so kind of a unique thing there amongst many of the mods we've looked at and then we need to go back up to command pod to look at the main part for this entire thing the SSTL 300 S1 submeter imaging system, which is an all in one satellite for you to put up into space. Let's actually rotate it that way for a bit better of a look. And it is a pretty nice looking thing. A beautiful modeling on it, very good texturing, and just a lot of great details. And actually, before, uh, you know, starting up the video today, I actually went to the Surrey Satellite Technology Limited webpage to, you know, see how close it was to their pictures of the real satellite and it's pretty close it's very well made I, I really do like the detail in this mod now as for the stats on this thing it is an unmanned command pod with a built-in data transmitter the solar panels here it does have a xenon gas engine producing a maximum of 0.1 kilonewtons in vacuum so uh yeah, you're, you're not going to be going very far, very fast with this thing, but, you know, perfect for adjusting your orbit. Very nice there. And like I said, using uh, xenon gas and, of course, electric charge. That, of course, does have curb net access, the Reaction Wheel SAS 300 electric charge and the 7.4 xenon gas. So, you know, small little tank, but considering, a, uh, what was the ISP on this thing? Max ISP and vacuum of 4,200. So, um... Yeah, it's gonna take a while for you to get through that uh, 7.4 xenon gas. I like it. But all in all, it is an all-in-one satellite system for you to send up on its payload adapter and put into orbit. Now, the real-world satellite equivalent of this thing is an imaging satellite with one meter resolution, and it's you know, just a cool little satellite. I do like it. Now, uh, a couple of compatibility things. Let me actually mouse over to my other monitor over here real quick and scroll down. Uh, this mod, though right now I'm looking at it vanilla, so just Kerbal Space Program and this mod, but this is compatible with and has some special little extras if you have D-Magic Orbital Science, Remote Tech, or ScanSat installed, and also is compatible with Textures Unlimited, so you can mess around with things. Uh, but in the uh, just vanilla game, it's still a very fun, nice little useful satellite, and easy to put up into nice constellations around the planet, considering the easy build. You just throw it onto a rocket and go. So let's just take a quick look at one of these in space, and well, frankly, that's really it for this episode. Not a whole lot to talk Oh god, which one was which? I think this one? No, no, no. This one over here. Yep, that's the right one. <laughs> I was playing around with launching these things and, you know, experimenting with launch vehicles. But yes, here is our primary one. A just lovely little satellite which I've had set to radial in because, I mean, 
it's an imaging satellite. And there we go, a lot of beautiful detailing, and actually some really good detailing on the bottom here. We really couldn't see in the VAB due to the adapter. And uh, there is right there, that tiny little engine on this thing, which of course, if we do throttle up, it does have the sort of a uh, standard electric engine plume. Very nice there, very cool. And it's, uh, yeah, like I said, it'll take you a while to run through that fuel, but perfect for, you know, changing up your orbits. And of course, does have built-in RCS and, uh, you know, overall just a fun little all-in-one satellite and that is basically it for this video folks if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself which i definitely would suggest doing you could take take a look at the link in the description as per usual and actually hopefully this mod will grow in time they may add other satellites from this company into this pack and i think that'd be pretty cool as you know it's always nice to see other space bits made by other space companies so uh yeah do go check it out have some fun with it and of course, I hope you all have enjoyed this video today and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.